Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's a fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 18 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Evan Donald. And now it's going to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce, the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making a Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter, taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his face, stay away from this guy at all costs, and oh, nice job to stand up and take down and scramble to his feet. He connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, single collar tie here. Very quick. Throws that body kick. Back and forth. 
forth we go. Big kick land. Look at him working. He's trying to shut the liver down. Single collar tie now. Big leg kick lands. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strike. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Watch the shot. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Round two next. So there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and often. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Oh, he goes with the punch, and he lands. Back to the feet now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Takedown defense holds up. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He loaded up on that right there, too. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Donald gets in the clinch yet again. Real sneaky body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on it. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Dunham's got his back now. Beautiful transition to get the dominant position.
watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's attack armbar now. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. And you can't be off to a matter of time. There, so he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 32 seconds of round. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.